Greetings, housemates, and welcome to Darkest Dungeon. I'm Flop, and this is The Darkness Estate. This is the second episode on my new channel. I just want to remind you that if you haven't seen the first 19 episodes, uh, you can see those on my old channel. They're going to stay there forever. I don't want to upload duplicate videos to YouTube, um, plus all the pain and frustration involved with... Uh, with all that since I already nailed it. Come on guys. Um, so we are about to embark on a sordid journey of death and destruction. We want to take our noobs. Why are we taking our noobs? Um, because we just got Gilpin, that hound master we've been waiting for. Um, he's got excellent skills. He's got excellent traits, ranged being very important for three of these skills. Um, all of his attacks except for blackjack are ranged. Um, so a nice little accuracy boost, steady, uh, it, excellent stress damage reduction, deviant taste, faithless are just fine. That's just town stuff. And they're the easiest quirks of all to work around. Plus he's got um, some excellent, uh, these would be my, my chosen um, well, Hound's Watch would be nice. If I could choose one, I would take probably Scouting and Hound's Watch. This one's an expensive ability, costing four. But in missions where you need good scouting, like uh, the three, three Curio missions, where it's like, oh, you have to find three sacks of grain, or you have to um, disinfect three corpses, um, scouting is really important, plus on on some missions you just want it. If you're low powered for where you're adventuring, like our level 3s, um, on the uh, veteran quests, then scouting can let you avoid combat, which is pretty important to sustaining through the long missions to get those high quest rewards. So, um, very happy to have a Houndmaster, but he's level 0, um, so we need to get him blooded. And we need to get him um, out there before we run out of XP and everyone turns level three because we have crushed all the level one bosses. So now we don't need, now we want everyone to be level three. Uh, level four, preferably, and we'll crush the level two bosses with that. Then we'll go to level six and crush the um, champion bosses. Um, when I say level one boss, level two, what I actually mean is apprentice veteran and champion missions. Those are the three difficulties of missions. Of course, heroes have their own resolve levels. So we're sending him out there. We've selected a quest. Um, <clears throat> this is the longest apprentice level quest we have an option to take. And camping is really good, uh, especially because we'd love to put some stress resistance on him. Um, and our crusader would like to do that. Um, instruction, tactics, uh, all sorts of good stuff, clean guns, wonderful, wonderful buffs await us for camping, and not, and of course the rewards are better since it's longer. Uh, it also put more XP on him. It will also, unfortunately, kick everyone except for Gale um, up to the next level. So after this, we will only have three people who are below level. Uh, who are level two or lower. So only three people could go on apprentice missions, which means we can't go on any more apprentice missions after this one. So we're gonna get him to level one, and then we're gonna have to take him on veteran missions. Uh, and in that case, we can use his scouting to avoid combat as much as possible while we um, stack XP on him as quickly as we can. So um, we'll use his utility once we have to take him on veteran missions. Those are these yellow ones, and a champion mission is red. All right, so we've got a pretty good group here. We're gonna use point blank shot, rampart, and holy lance for the most part <clears throat> to um, crush our foes. Uh, just steadily swapping these three can all advance um, and um, all have attacks that are pretty sick from various positions. Uh, also, most of our heals are gonna come from our Crusader, um, though toughness and defense 
Uh, we can keep our poor little Gilpin safe by defending him. And we can dish damage with the Highwayman. So we've got some defensive flexibility. And he's going to focus on bleeding, stress heal, mark targets, all this goodness. Um, kind of utility more than damage, I think. But uh, Hound's Rush is no joke, especially against marked enemies. Um, and our mark is the best mark in the game, as far as I can tell. Um, so, you know, he's going to be a little bit of utility. I do think I want to unlock Lick Wounds, because we're a little low on healing. But... So, I am going to go ahead and... We're going to train him in Lick Wounds. So let's check out everyone's proficiencies here. We do have a little bit to level people up. Lesu packs a joker on top of this. So let's just go ahead and level all these up. That gives us a comfortable 4,000 for this apprentice level mission. Plus we're taking three level twos, which means uh, we are not gonna have problems. All right, um, and maybe it's time to use that scouting skill right now. <clears throat> Taking max food when you don't have a dedicated healer um, is a good idea. Um, we are in the wield. So I suggest this basic loadout for the wield. And we want adventure in the day or night. Let's look at how the items fall. He's light sensitive. Uh, one of our um, subscribers, one of our housemates, your housemates, mentioned that we should lock in these beneficial traits while he is still level zero. Um, because I've noted previously that the um, higher level you are, the more expensive it is to lock in positive traits. So I can tell you, because I tested it before this video, that until you reach level three, that is level zero, one, and two, it all costs the same to lock in positive quirks. And quirks don't replace each other until you have a full roster. So we don't have to worry about that level zero and we don't really have extra cash to do so either. So um, he's got a while. These guys, however, um, we are not gonna be able to lock in any of their traits cheaply until they level up. Now, or I mean, cause well, Paxidoker and Lisieux um, are going to get more expensive to lock in these excellent traits they each have, um, unfortunately. Uh, and we could lose some good ones. On Guard is really good here. Irrepressible, really good on a Crusader. They tend to have items that go with Virtue Chance. But uh, Eagle Eye is meh, and Unerring is really lame. Uh, here, tons of good stuff here. Lurker will help us but unfortunately we just can't afford it. He says, um, because we have to send them out on a mission, we don't even have time to lock it in. But there you go. Something to note, that until you guys reach level three, um, it's the same cost. And for level threes and level fours, it is the same cost to lock in good traits. About uh, 1,500 more, I think. It goes from 3,750 for level zero to two to 5,000 something for levels three and four, and I assume it gets more expensive at levels five and six. And here's can't go past six. All right, so that is enough. What have we here? He's gonna need stress resistance, um, and is probably our resident trap disarmor. Uh, actually, he could be with this whistle. Um, that'll make him as good a trap disarmor as our highwayman. And that's a great way to reduce his stress over the course of the game. Also, that suggests adventuring in the dark, which is totally plausible. Let's, um, let's give him stress resistance and dodge. So that, because he's got crappy armor compared to everyone else. Uh, even our crusader's dodge is higher. But now he's on par with everyone else. All right, the Crusader. Mm. 
What attacks are we using here? Okay, someone's getting this Beast Slayer ring. Let's give it to our Highwaymen. Two speed, I do want him to go first. Eight dodge, minus six accuracy range skills. Uh, that does suck. Let's cancel it out with that. Actually, he really shouldn't have a problem hitting. Here's what we'll do, we'll go for a dark mission. We'll get maximum reward out of this. Um, we've got exactly the right party for it with uh, our ability to jigger surprise, an ambush skill, stress resistance skill, um, and some combat skills. Uh, we can even take this guy as long as we remember that we load him up with stress resistance, um, we will be fine. So, uh, this plus 15 accuracy at low light will totally negate our penalties, and the extra damage will be very welcome. All right, here, this guy is gonna tank. We don't have any sweet equipment for him. This is not a good idea right now. Not the time for that. Accuracy, crit chance. Do we want to affect someone's speed? And let's load him up with that. Takes a little more stress damage, but he will be really tough. 25% um, damage reduction and 10 more dodge uh, while the light is low. And you, sir. So good, 20% stress resistance is so nice. We can trade speed for damage or for slightly more damage, we can trade hit points and stress damage. I would totally trade speed. And we're set. All right. Everyone leveled up, has all the good equipment, oh no. Well, he'll be fine. He'll be fine with level two equipment. Our highwayman isn't quite maxed out. Shouldn't be an issue. Let's go. Careful preparation, of course, the key to uh, winning in Darkest Dungeon, or let me say not losing. <clears throat> you can lose a lot even when you're victorious in Darkest Dungeon. So, we need to activate three infected corpses. Our scouting chance goes up uh, with or without the light. So, let's just go this way. And of course I brought no torches. Haunting the hearts of men. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Okay, one of these. It's going to give us lots of food and some money, which will let us Uh, 
All right, a fight. Excellent. Okay, all of our people can work their way forward. So this is not too bad. We're going to protect him as he will be the easiest to crush. Also recall that his defense is insane. He's plus 35 protection and then 60% protection right now. That's boss mode. Should have brought the Eldritch Slayer. I forgot that these things are Eldritch. Try and kill that damn broken. thing. Maintain the offensive. Tiny bits of damage, but does bleed. These guys haven't acted yet. That bleed isn't really going to do much. We should probably switch that to Lick Wounds now that I see it in action. This thing has protection. Let's try and negate that. Rush this advantage. <coughs> That's Get why I love Holy no Lance. No. Cancel out that thing's resistance. This guy needs to advance. Kind of fish for crits here. You'll be fine. Okay, let's Destroy stop the poison. Them all. Stab that thing in the face. Oh, that's not bad. As victories mount, and then so that's a restorative. We've got lots of food. pristine fountain. I believe that's kind of suggestive of its restorative nature. We got our scout on. <coughs> and let's go ahead and do our camp. Hmm. I guess we can wait a bit. You know, since you get like a 10 stress heal and a good bit of damage heal, um, we would like to go ahead and not waste that healing from our camp. <coughs> As we likely don't need the scouting just yet, uh, the scouting bonus, considering how we have a scouting bonus in the dark already, and our chances obviously are not that low. Yeah, I'd say our scout's pretty good. So after this treasure room fight is probably an ideal time. Okay, let's definitely use some of this excess food nature herself a victim to the spreading corruption malformed with misintent that's fine we need to burn some of this food anyway <coughs> as the fiend falls a faint hope blossoms Hmm. 
Not a problem. As the enemy crumbles. Says Lisieux. Not a problem. Okay, can't say that was particularly challenging. Triumphant pride precipitates. A we need to get fall. we need to free up some space in our inventory thanks to these stupid solves. And we have way too much food, so. All right, I certainly want bandit sense. I want clean guns. We've got instruction. This will work on someone else. We're going to use it on our crusader. And our crusader will become our unshakable leader. So we didn't improve our scouting, um, but we did definitely improve our ability to fight in the dark and our ability to fight in general, as well as our stress resistance. And uh, the Crusader, I feel like Holy Lance misses a lot, and you don't get many use, you don't always get uses of it. So, um, I think it's important to buff his accuracy a bit. Or maybe you often use it against, the enemies in the back are often the dodgier ones. So maybe you often find yourself unable to use Holy Lance. Now, the highway, him being in the back is like the one not okay thing. Uh, I hope we might get a kill. We did kind of set them up for this, which should really finish them off if we're lucky. That one will live. Ineffective. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Not a problem. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I will never remind myself of that. Let's back him up. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Goodies. And now we're back. In the darkness. Collecting deeds. Deeds are, of course, our primary need when it comes to heirlooms. Because we need the weaponsmith back on top of his game. Or on top of a new level of game. Scouting in the dark. Excellent. Here comes a fight. Holy Lance is readied in the back should do to take out this fungal artillery we hope we need our crusader all the way in the back otherwise when we our highwayman will almost always go first and when he uses that ability okay let's guarantee the holy lance can finish off that bad boy and let's mark him as this one's low enough, maybe a, a normal hit could actually kill it. He's grouped ineffectively. Finish that off. Note that that would have been a kill. Six to ten damage here is pretty good. Seems like the best way for him to contribute. Lucky us. Oops. There's no reason for that. Creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. What was it? Ah, yes. The stress heal won't hurt. 
And we're back in fighting order. One of the things I forget the most is definitely to put my party back in order. And it can be devastating. Ooh, two jet is nice. Remember, we're looking for blasted corpses. I mean, infected, but I say that they are blasted. Accursed corpses, perhaps. Pass. Let's eat up this food. I only need one stack of food for the rest of this adventure, so everything else is... Just enough for a kill. Almost minimum damage for him, but, you know. Heal thyself. This one most likely to crit us and deal damage. Ooh, resisted the stun. Let's save that one for a holy lance and try and take this guy out. Good. You just keep yourself healthy, hug that puppy to your chest. We'll protect him from further damage, maybe. And wait for the Holy Lance to come around. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Choices. The Blight Amulet is worth less than a full stack of gold. The Medicinal Herbs aren't going to do us many favors. Let's focus on cash for now. So we'll just use them to take these debuffs off, even though that's probably pointless. It's probably also good practice. And let's have this guy close to the front. And this one in the back. Now, this is kind of my healing mode because battle heal can be used from the first two ranks. So we'll keep the Crusader right up here from the get-go. We can still get a Holy Lance off. The uh, Man-at-Arms is not going to push him back because the Man-at-Arms does not move backwards. Um, and if we encounter a big group of enemies, um, we're ready for the Grapefruit Blast immediately instead of the point blank. Point blank is nice for lowering, um, for reducing one enemy. Like a room battle, I would often consider taking point blank in because the front enemy often has much more health and stuff. Um, but in hallway encounters, generally, you can expect three enemies. Impressive. That was good. She's got three health left. Bellow's not going to do it. Retribution will, and these guys focus on mark targets really hard. Their AI is like that. So he can probably retribution this whole shenanigan bag. Let's, uh, this one has more hit points, so we'll mark it. This guy's down four, and he's probably going to tank a lot of damage from these guys, yeah, because they have an attack called Rin the Mark. About to break. So yeah, that's how that works. I'm glad we healed him. Good choice, us. Let's fish for crits. Let's ease some of that crit stress. Take this guy out of the fight. 
it was time to heal. And since we pushed him back, <coughs> very high chance for a crit there. Seize this momentum. No debuffs to Push remove. To the tasks end. No real need to generate a lot of food. Let's go ahead and use this doggy treat in the next um, mission. And you, let's go ahead and move you to the front and hope for a an excellent point blank shot. Okay, the dog, 90% chance to hit, and it's a guaranteed kill. I do hate those damn dogs. Note that point blank shot, if there's only three enemies and you kill one right up front, can't use Holy Lance, and your Crusader is trapped back here. So it is kind of risky to have him at the front um, and him in the third position. But in a room battle, you're almost guaranteed to get four enemies, so not as much to worry about. Let us mark this guy to reduce his protection for our friends, and then we'll just stick to crying havoc and trying to heal some stress. I think. Oh, actually, we should. What we should use is repost again. Why you say? Because these guys only have one attack up front, and it always hits the first two ranks, which means we are going to do some serious damage, and we know this guy will attack us. And then we'll just heal him. Yeah, see, that's going to happen every turn these guys get. And this guy's going to focus on him, and all we have to do is keep this guy healed. Wear these enemies down. Cry Havoc and battle heal. And for an added dose of FU enemies. Oh, we got marked because of the corpse, of course. That sucks, and it was a crit. Could have Holy Lance that thing in the back. Not gonna be necessary. Oh, our mark wore off so fast. I needed that mark. Let's take this out, it's much faster. Let's buy some time. Oh yeah, he can't heal from that position. I suppose we're just wasting time at this point. It's round four, that's when wasting time starts to become a problem. So let's end this. Success so clearly in Mad you. cash though. Or is oh we didn't use the doggy tree. of the light. And that's a waste. Because I definitely want this. The Blight Amulet, if I'm right. Oh, it is worth more than a stack of gold. It's the good uncommons that are not worth a stack. Scouting, I definitely don't want to ditch my shovel. There's no guarantee this jet is going to be worth as much as this gold. We'd have to find one more jet for that to be equal to another stack of gold, we're much more likely to find gold. So let's, let's ditch it. Sending my highwayman to the back is a pain in the butt. Okay, let's bring her forward where we can get at her. I'm gonna try and stress out my Crusader. It's not terribly effective. 
Let's make sure she doesn't use that on my level zero guy with his lack of stress resistance. He's gonna do what he can. Not bad. Yes, that was good. That was actually good. Got a great chance to end her. A crit would do it, and even our base damage is enough. And we'll put her down. A trifling victory. That is not worth it. But a victory nonetheless. Okay, we need to heal a little bit, so let's get into that position. Uh, this thing can actually give you a nasty negative trait that reduces your speed. We don't want that. Slow reflexes? Bad news. Uh, mostly bad news. I can't think of anyone I want it on. Um, people that attacked mark targets that you don't intend to have mark targets yourself, um, they're usually a good target. Dedicated healers can be really slow because you want the damage to pile up first. We didn't see a treasure room, so not ditching treasure I already have in hopes of acquiring treasure that I, I don't. All right, we definitely won't eat three times before the end of this, he says. So... Is a lock on it. We haven't scouted this last part. We can come back for that chest if we happen to find something that deals with locks. Excellent. I can't remember if you can use the shovel to knock the, the lock off. All right, scouting's what we wanted. There are no more obstacles. There is a key room. So we'd like to increase our chances of getting a key. And we can ditch this shovel. You know what? Let's see if the shovel actually works on these boxes. I don't think it does, but I'm kind of itching to try. And we may starve yet, Brave Adventurers. Nope. All right, go. It's trapped, it's all right. He has the self heal, which is why I chose him. And he's more trap resistant than most. All right, now if we have to eat, that's just gonna annoy me. We don't need the stress, but it obviously won't be enough stress to even prevent me from sending them out, so. Let's pick this thing off before it diseases us or something worse. No one appreciates it, isn't it? That's, that's just how it goes sometimes. No one appreciates your crits. And there's no problem here. This expedition at least promises success. We fucking starved. Man. It's that stupid uh, pride cometh before the... Pride cometh before the titan fall. So we're going to continue adventuring because I don't care. I want this last fight. I don't think I'm going to have to eat again. And if I do, you know what? Stress levels are still pretty low. So what? So what? Yeah, the eating mechanic, I, it is painfully random, but you know what? Go for it. He's got a lot of stress, you know? But um, if it weren't, then it would be too weak basically is how I think about it. 
I would rather, as a player of the game, I'd rather it would be painful enough for me to have to think about than just annoying. Um, so, that's how I feel. Okay, Retribution. Uh, you know why we're going to do that. Uh, he does... Maybe we should protect first. Let's protect the Houndmaster. He's low on health. We'll go for Retribution next. We're going to do up that bad guy in the back. We're going to... Let's go with the stress heal. That was a pretty good one. I would like that thing dead. I want only my own marked targets. Alright, they're gonna focus on him. That's fine. Um, his health pool can take it. I was afraid of that. And this guy with his buffed Alright, this will hand him and get a little of our own back. Remember that this is the last fight. Health is not going to make a difference afterwards, so it's all about curing stress. And while the Houndmaster's stress resistance is, is unreliable in the course of a single battle, over time it is pretty damn effective at reducing a party's stress, but only if you have multiple stressed out members. Now generally, the amount of stress you heal isn't going to be overkill for the amount of stress you have, but, you know. Okay, repost. Being marked likely increases their chance to crit, which is probably bad. But, um... We shouldn't have too much trouble. Now we're not going to heal, we're just going to kill because once they're dead, we win. This guy's got a lot of health left. Let's fish for crits. Okay, he's reposting. But he's not marked anymore. We want to mark. Do we want both of these guys to be within death territory? I'm going to say the... You know, maybe that tactic's not worth it when you're trying to reduce. And like, that's not worth anything anymore. That's not worth anything anymore. This is, and this is. Okay, whatever happens here, stays here. All right, um, solid run. We covered our weak points, that is, our level zero's lack of stress resistance, uh, which I suspect is 10% per level. If you look at it, all of your resistances go up by 10% per resolve level, um, and it would make sense that your stress goes up by about 10%, because really, it doesn't go, it can't go up by much more than that, or you would see a much more noticeable effect. So for a medium length apprentice mission, breaking 10K is quite good. Um, we did focus a little bit on that. Um, and of course the gold deeds. We already have a debuff amulet, so we can ditch that um, for cash. And as predicted, yes, everyone gains 3 XP. It's 2 for a short, 3 for a medium, and 4 for a long apprentice mission. And then I believe all those numbers go up by 1 for veteran missions, and probably by 2 for champions. All right, and let's open the box. Beast Hater. Beast Hater. Beast Hater. All right, death blow resistance uh, replaces on guard. That sucks. I liked on guard better, but death blow resistance is not bad. Ruins phobe. Eh. We can avoid that. You answered the letter. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. All right. Um, our Palmera is weak with blood loss. Uh, note that 100 stress is removed from the... Uh, once you've upgraded the uh, do, 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 flagellation chamber um, to reduce stress twice. 
The second one increases it to 100. The first one increases it to 81, I believe. Um, these diseases were cured. Did these guys pass Fourier and Bernier's? I want to check. I'm trying to keep an eye on whether they had other diseases. They did not. Um, so, so far, we've had 100% collateral disease restoration, which was pretty good. And um, Palmera getting that damage reduction means very, very little as uh, the damage she deals is basically non-existent, plus um, misses the spot uh, and weak grip pretty much guarantee that she's not going to be a damage dealer. Let's take a peek, just in case. Hard skinned, really good. Really, really good on a man at arms. Um, I would say irrepressible, kind of terrible on these guys since they have incredible stress um, reduction techniques. Mankind hater, pretty good. But remember, this guy can do extra damage to beasts with one of his attacks, so beast hater is probably superior here. But Mankind Hater makes a lot of sense. So I don't know, we'll keep looking in the stagecoach, but I see no real reason to stock up. Oh, we kind of wanted one of these a while back. Um, bit expensive for my tastes. Solar Racer, two crit and five dodge with a high torch. Um, the opposite of that with a torch below half. Below half, no bueno. Um, deeds, 39 deeds. I don't believe that's enough to rank us up, but it is close. Um, we could get three more deeds from almost anywhere. So let's use this money for good. Let's figure out what mission we're going to go on. All right. This long mission kind of calls to me, uh, and we can sell that. Oh, yeah, let's look. That is worth a stack of gold, exactly. Um, here you can see the most expensive common ones are worth 11.25, not a whole stack of gold. And rare ones uh, seemingly are all worth more than a stack of gold. There doesn't seem to be price variations in the other rarities. So, there you go. Common, never worth a stack of gold. Uncommon, exactly a stack of gold. So, you know, I would take the item. Maybe you'll think of a reason to use it uh, that isn't just gold. For us, uh, let's go ahead and sell this. Debuff is a pretty broad spectrum. Uh, it's almost worth keeping, too, but... No, right now it's not. Even if I think of some reason to keep it, I want the gold more. Okay, thankfully, dealing with trinkets has been eased. Okay, long veteran missions. These are the missions we want to go on to um, give us the most cash, the most resources, and the most XP towards getting to level 4. So we, we have been tackling these pretty regularly. Um... Perhaps a poor choice for our poor um, noobs. Uh, but they do come with better items, uh, especially ones we can sell. But a moon cloak, I would not sneer at a moon cloak. The quick draw charm reduces your speed after the first round, but incredible speed and crit chance on the first round. Who might you use that with? Perhaps a hellion. Um, the Highwayman with point blank shot is a is a good idea. Um, a jester, maybe. Someone with a nice AoE. Um, the ability to control who goes first and generally to have the very first action is is really, really nice. Since I'm still not totally clear on if buffs and debuffs um, retroactively change the order. Of the round that you're in, i.e. making your own characters faster, is that 
instantaneously effective. Like, can you actually go faster than an enemy that would have gone before you in the round in like round one by increasing your speed? Or is it already set at that point and it doesn't really apply till next round? Kind of unclear on this. Um, if the effect is retroactive, then putting this on your man-at-arms and using bellow initially to reduce all of your opponent's speeds um, could rock. Um, kind of giving you a guaranteed surprise every combat. Think about that. Your whole team gets to go before their whole team gets to go. Probably. Um, unless they are incredibly fast. Uh, so that, you know, that's worth it, maybe. Nope, I don't like that one. Not totally tempted. Uh, that, stun, debuff, crit chance, not bad. Yeah, that task is beyond you. Everyone feels it's beyond them. We're just gonna make so much more money and we really need to build a bank here. So, did I already do that? I did. Complete 100% of room battles. That means you want the good heals. It's in the ruins. She's a ruined scavenger. Um, Crusaders are particularly good in ruins due to their anti-unholy. And Simnel and Bershir are about to level up anyway. Room battles, huh? Bleed not terribly effective. Um, Who do we have level for? Theon and Pantul. To use Theon um, to kill bosses would be a nice immediate goal. Um, Rinald and Macy would never go on an adventure with him, so that's troublesome. Um, but uh, an occultist. Where are our occultists? Here we are. Ah, uh, we'll take Bonell, and don't we have, yes, yeah, Boshir. Okay, so here's what we're, here's what we're doing with this. Uh, let's actually, wait, sort by level. Macy might not be the one to take here. This is a pretty, pretty restorative bunch. We need someone who might consider going on an adventure with Theon. Um, Plague Doctor is not a bad idea. They need to be in middle or front row. Pass Fourier. Actually the one I would prefer to take. But he is already broken. Broken in spirit. Let's take Neville. This isn't a terribly good um, scouting crew, so they could use his Release the Hound. Okay, we don't have a lot of experience using Houndmaster, so let's, let's see what we got here. <laughs> let's actually go back. So we're going into the ruins. traits on these guys. No one's terrified of the ruins. Nor especially boss. First thing. So if I sort by activity. Kind of wish I brought my current party to the, to the foreground. Okay, let us do upgrade that. He is going to be one of our damage dealers. Same. Mm. Doesn't hurt. And we do plan to use them on boss runs. 
Expensive, expensive, but important work. All right, talk to me, guild. Tell me about Neville. Bleed is gonna suck in the ruins, so I'm not even gonna consider that one. Blackjack, um, he has to be in the first two ranks. That will be true uh, for this mission. And otherwise, he's not like terribly useful. We're not gonna have beasts to deal with. His marking is good. He's gonna be kind of a utility. He won't be able to cry havoc. Let's do take blackjack. Um, we want it as high as level as possible because we really want it to stun, otherwise it's kind of a waste. Mm, looks like it's accuracy and stun chance are all we get, but that's fine. I have a feeling he's gonna need to heal himself. And the rest, eh. Let's see if anyone else needs an upgrade. As I recall, Bunnell whiffs his um, Abyssal Artillery a lot. But let's, Renault is the one we really need everything on. Holy Lance is not gonna be what he's up to right now. We're gonna want Smite Accusation for the AOE because it's so good and it has a decent crit chance. Heal and cry. Yeah. So let's level these up as our primary damage dealer plus that extra unholy damage. So good. Here we get an extra crit chance and a bit of accuracy. Take it. And going in with less than, we're going to want to sell something. We already sold that. Ten ranged accuracy. This is getting outdone by this one, I believe. Um, steady bracer is nice, but it's starting to look unnecessary. And I do like all of these. I like pretty much everything I have, except for this blight amulet. Is that going to be enough to get us through? That's a, it really is a solid buff. Um, I'm not sure I necessarily need it, but... Sure, she is fine, fully equipped and loaded. Let's upgrade this ability, I think. Yeah. And lastly, our Houndmaster. We will be using Blackjack. Hound's Rush. Probably guard and lick. So let's at least upgrade guard that much. Yeah. Uh, if this upgrade might be worth it at this level, if I were going to use guard dog multiple times in a row. Uh, for that stacking extra dodge. Um, that's when the two extra dodge might matter. Otherwise, eh, it's not so good. We're probably going to be dodging, blackjacking, and healing ourselves for the most part. Uh, protecting, that is. Hop in here. Oh, yeah. Weep at the things we cannot yet afford. And we are ready for the next mission. Almost. Items, of course. But we'll do that in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode tomorrow. Uh, 
I am um, planning to release one episode a day of Darkest Dungeon up till release and until I beat the game um, after that. So, lots of Darkest Dungeon coming your way. I hope you appreciate it. Um, I know I spend a lot of time getting ready um, and uh, before and after each mission, but that is kind of the key to success in this game. Careful planning. Um, so you hopefully learn to derive satisfaction from a well-laid assault and the riches that it brings. And uh, yeah, that's it. So everything went perfectly well this episode, and I'm sure that it's all downhill from here.